Hi you guys, it's only me. Today I am going to be talking about the humble potato. Now, these are a couple of my Sapo Mira, some little ones which I'm going to save as seed potatoes for next year. Now, did you know that there's two ways of growing potatoes? Now, you can save or buy seed potatoes. Now, technically, they're not actually seeds, they're tubers. And what would happen is you would chip them. You'd allow these eyes there and there to grow sprouts. And then you would plant them. And they'd grow into a potato plant and fingers crossed it would produce more of these but hopefully a lot lot bigger now that's the normal way of producing potatoes but what you're actually doing is cloning the potato because what happens is the plant produces these tubers on stolons they're called they're a bit like roots but they're a special kind of root they don't take up nutrients they don't take up water what they actually do is they store nutrients and water and dna into these little things and hopefully bigger things bigger tubers and then when the plant gets killed off by disease or frost what happens is when the growing conditions become right again it will the plant will produce itself again from all the goodness and the DNA stored in the tuber so that's what you're doing you're cloning your potatoes now if I was to save this one, but plant this one next year, now the potatoes from this plant, if I was to send one potato from this and this exact potato away to be tested, it would come back as identical. In fact, they would even say it came from the same plant because you're basically just cloning your potatoes. Now. That's the main way of growing potatoes. Now there is another way. Now, do you remember this little green fella that I found? Now this is a potato berry. Now inside this, and it does look very much like an unripe tomato, but inside this, there's potentially hundreds of seeds. Now these are what's known as a true potato seed or TPS. Now I can take one of these seeds and plant it and it will produce a potato plant with tubers. Now if I'm lucky I'll get some this size but majority will be micro ones and what you would do is take those micro ones and grow them the next year and that's where you'll get a true indication of what potatoes are going to be like now this came from the sarpomira plant and this is a sarpomira potato but the seeds inside here will not produce Sapo Mira potatoes. Hmm. Now, you're probably wondering how the dickens can that happen? Because if that's potato seeds, how can that not produce a Sapo Mira potato? Well, this is where it's going to not get complicated, but it's going to get a little bit techy. A little bit of biology. Now then. These are cultivated potatoes, 
Now, wild potatoes and the original potatoes, because there's more than 4,000 varieties out there, were something called diploid. Basically, they have um, two chromosomes. And what happens is... Oh, let's get some paper and a pen and make it a bit easier. Right. Most plants are diploid. Basically, they have two chromosomes. Right. Let's see if I can draw this. two chromosomes which is here Ooh, I'm doing this through looking at my camera not the actual the paper right so what you have is the mother plant my writing's gonna be really bad here and you got the daddy plant now what happens is trying to remember um, what it's called the each one of these is a chromosome and it's called I'll spell it uh, hang on, I'm going to have to look uh, 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 uh. it's called that alleles alleles yeah, anyway so each of these chromosomes is called an alleles now the chromosomes are joined by something called a locus. Now, each chromosome can be a... Oh, what's it called now? Um, you've got recessive genes. And you've got dominant genes. That's the one. Now, what happens is... Half the DNA comes from the mother and half the DNA comes from the father. So you've got half the DNA coming from the mother and half the DNA coming from the father. And then they join up to produce the new plant. Now, the new plant is going to be genetically different to the mum and the dad, but not by much. It could either be dominant, dominant, recessive, recessive, dominant, recessive, or recessive, dominant. Right, so roughly four ways of pairing the chromosomes. Right. Now then. These are not diploid, these are tetraploid, which means the mother has two sets of those chromosomes and the daddy has two sets of those chromosomes. So every seed in this berry is not only going to be different to the parent because this is the mother plant I don't know who the father is could be it could have been self pollinated it could have been pollinated from one of my other potato plants I have no idea but anyway each seed will be genetically different to the sarpomira and if that isn't diverse enough each seed will be genetically different to its neighboring seed inside here now because there are two sets of chromosomes it means you could have at least those so you could have all four dominant or you could have three dominant and a recessive or the recessive could be there 
or there, or there. Or you could have too dominant, too recessive, so on, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Or one dominant, three recessive, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. So the variety, the variation is enormous. That is why you'll only see seed potatoes for sale. You're not going to see these. Because in the this age of consumerism, we want what we pay for. And because you can't guarantee what you're going to get with these, it's basically a genetic lottery. No potato grower will sell these because they can't label them. They can't say, right, this has come from a Sao Palmeira. It's a Sao Palmeira berry. You're not going to get Sao Palmeira potatoes from this. You're going to get potential 16 plus new varieties that aren't available commercially anywhere. Now that's probably just boggled your mind. So it's not impossible to grow potatoes from true potato seeds. But that's the normal way of doing it. Planting these and cloning. That's the done way. But I am going to be growing some true potato seeds and I'm not the only one my fellow youtuber Ryan from a little dirt never hurt is going to be joining me on this journey because him the lucky bugger has got hundreds of these berries whereas me I just got my little berry no mates just the one so he's based over in Canada so hopefully you're going to see how he gets on with his in his neck of the woods and his different weather seasons to me. And you'll see how I get on growing mine. Um, we're going to sink each step of the way so you'll get to see how I do mine as he does his. But we're going to be putting a series together of how to grow potatoes from true potato seeds. So anyway, I hope you haven't been bored to tears. Um, sorry for all the tech info and I'm hoping that made sense. Um, and I hope to see you on this journey that we're going to do. So hopefully the next video will be showing you how to extract the seeds from this and just a word of warning if you do ever find these on your potato plants they contain something called oh i can't pronounce it can't even pronounce it sol sol solanine i think i pronounced it solanine which is an alcohol alkaloid no, i'm going to say alcohol then it's not alcohol it's an al alkaloid oh, you know what i mean it's an alkaloid not alcohol alkaloid which is highly toxic because it's from the deadly nightshade family that's what your potatoes are from the deadly nightshade family so, if you have pets or children, keep them away. Because apparently the smell, when they're ripe, these berries, they smell really nice. But they taste very, very bitter. And if you were to eat that one, digest it, you would be seriously, seriously ill. Because it's toxic, it is poison. And I cannot stress enough to keep them out of children and pets' way. Um, if you've got no intention of um, having a go at growing them yourself, get rid of them. Okay. Anyway, enough of the day warning. 
um, and that's it for now. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for being bored to tears. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta for now. Bye.